Well, it's important when you're challenging back like that that A, you don't get, give up, and B, that you don't get the tackle wrong. Did well on both counts there. McCulloch in with a challenge on Barino. He's still got the ball, though. Have to be careful here. Michael Keane got the ball. And that was yeah. all important. You have to be careful, you're right. He's done the right thing. Get in that box and run at red shots, and they've got, he knows they've got to be careful, but he dug that out very well. Again, the ref in a good position. And credit to the referee, because sometimes officials are put under pressure to even things up a little bit. He's given a penalty mm. at one end. Could easily have fallen for that and given it at the other. Clean challenge, though, from Michael Keane. Full-back turn, central midfielder. That almost found Kofi over the top. Just needs to bend in the channel a wee bit more. Akil Greer screaming for the ball on this near side. That's where it's heading. Michael Keane there again. Last seven minutes of the first half. Connolly blocked that effort from Kofi right on the line. Berrinho trying to turn away from McGinty. Free kick, dangerous uh, position. Again, good referee, and he allowed that, David, and then decided, no, I'm going to give it. Just wait to see what develops. So, a little bit closer than the last one. 22, 23 yards out, he'll probably fancy having a dip at this. This was the potential penalty shout. He's cutting across red shots in and out. Mm, did use his body but dug the ball out as well I would say so West Brom's number nine has nine goals and is very definitely I would say from this looking for number ten mm, you think he'd fancy a, a left footer from that angle but it looks like he's going to have a pop at this don't move till the ball is kicked says the referee there's the ball kicked oh saved well by Jacob crossbar helped him out as well but he got a strong hand to that. He must have just saw it late there. It looks like it was going in, David, when he's, even when he saved it, but he's done well there. Helped not on the crossbar. The main thing is it stayed out. No doubt who West Brom's biggest threat is. And he was foiled there in style by the Australian goalkeeper. Still not sure where the next goal's coming from in this one. Both teams looking likely to trouble the score sheet. Barino on the turn, on the volley, goal. It's been coming from him. And no surprise that it's a quality strike when it does come. Fantastic. The number nine now has ten for the season. Yeah, fantastic hit. I don't think any keeper would have saved that one. It's come in, he's facing away from the goal. Turns, hits it on the half volley. It's gone in like a rocket. And you must say, David, over the, the play of the last sort of 10 minutes, probably no more than West Brom deserved. They've had quite a bit of possession trying to get it out of back four. Before Previous we free, see uh, his goal, let's see his free kick. Previous free kick comes off the crossbar, but he's been rewarded for his efforts the second time. Off the underside of the bar. Certainly, they've, they've not let their heads go down. They've had a, had a few attempts, but certainly uh, back into it now, right on half time, getting an equaliser. Well, we'll see the goal again in a second. It was a, a great goal when it came. Anyway, we're back at 1 1 with five minutes we're just under to go in this first half. Blackett's clearance towards Kofi. Played by United. Here goes Kofi again. Just wriggling away from all these West Brom players. Still going. Michael Keane comes to offer support. Now it's McCulloch. Blackett. McGinty. Key to Lawrence. Get up! Get up! 
United looking to try and work West Brom as they did in the opening 20 minutes or so of this game. Move the ball over the pitch. Paul Pogba. Jesse Lingard. Still Lingard. Feeds it to Lawrence. Real chance here. Safe by the goalkeeper. The crossbar helped too and then away by Ruth. Pretty much off the line. Just didn't want to go in for United there. Patient build up again. Lingard eventually feeding Lawrence. Went for out and out power there, and you've got to give the goalkeeper big credit there. It's almost sort of what seven yards off him, got his hand to it, it helps on the crossbar. Even then, Coffey almost got the header in. Great reactions from Lewis in goal. He'd have been struggling if that was along the floor hmm. or lower, wouldn't he? But got his hand to it. Well, you see a lot of goals going in through keepers' legs and down close to their legs. It's hard to get to, but. Nice height for him to get to, but it was on him in a flash. Good reaction save. Back out to Lingard. Blocked by O'Sullivan. And now a chance for the break here, because it's one-on-one. -on -one. Marino up against Blackett. Look at the ground being made up by Lawrence, though, to try and help out. And he's done well, there Lawrence. There we are. Ran 60, 70 yards there. That's where the pace of a winger can be handy at the other end, too. Well, even if you don't win the ball, David, you're breathing down somebody's neck, chasing all the way back. Certainly helped black it out big time there. Away by Blackett, as far as Lingard, wellied towards Kofi. Lingard again looks to release United's big number nine. Now he may well have the pace on Tunnicliffe here. Kofi. Pogba was through the middle. Kofi didn't need him. Strike. You just can't stop this guy scoring. And United will pinch the lead just before the break as a result of another goal from John Kofi. Well, the combination of the front two worked fantastically there. Great ball from Lingard. What he does, David, he goes quick, then slows down, slows down, makes sure everyone's right. I've got it on my right foot place perfectly in the corner absolute sickener for West Brom to get themselves level and then concede pretty much straight away yeah, I think you could sense there was another defender coming as well and slows down didn't sort of hurry himself there then when he needs to go quick he takes a quick couple of yards and fantastic strike great challenge that as well by Michael Keane got the ball got the man got everything mm -hmm. And Kofi now has eight goals for the season. Interestingly, he hasn't scored more than one goal in a game. He's scored in eight of his ten matches this season now. So maybe he can double up in this one for the first time this campaign. Well, probably that was the hardest chance he's had. He's a good 20... 223 yards out. There we go, half time. It's been quite a first half, too. So Connolly is still in the back four. Cameron Gale at centre half, as I say. And uh, West Brom get us going in this second half. The first half had three goals, two shots cleared off the line, and the ball hit the crossbar at both ends. So if that's any indication of what is to come in this second period, then stay tuned. No more of the same. That's the order, really. Good play from both sides, played in the right spirit as well. Giuliano Van Velzen straight into the action. It will be a West Brom throw. Akil Greer. Back to Connolly. Up towards O'Sullivan. Youngster who was released by Watford, joined at West Brom last season. Into the action here straight away, Manny O'Sullivan through the middle. And McGinty in the end took control. Kept alive by Tunnicliffe. Senior forward and away by Pogba, Lingard jumped. Thank you. 
Head away by Van Vels. Lingard looking for Kofi. Ooh, Kendry clobbered Barino there. <laughs> oh, that might slow him down a little bit. <laughs> Good control. Pulled it down well. Just got caught maybe with the knee there in the stomach or the back. That's going to be a sore one. A uh, little pat on the shoulder from Hendry. You know, to throw then Tyler Blackett with it. Played the last five games before today, four starts. He will get us going again here. Another one who's represented England. Plenty of them on this pitch today. At various different age group levels. Hogba and Van Velzen tangling with West Brom's goal scorer. Connolly wins the header. And Pogba looked to try and catch that. <laughs> A bit too premature there, try to grab it. <laughs> One of the more bizarre moments in the academy season. There tend to be a few. Van Vels back to Pogba, over the top, looking for Kofi. Did well to keep it in, but then yeah, it rolled out. Just a little bit too much on the pass. Takes a bit of a chance there, West Brom. Little nudge from Jesse Lingard. The referee yeah, saw the opportunity to slow it down. I was just going to say he's done well again, Lingard. Letting them take the short goal kick, closing the defender down. Maybe just nudge them in the back a little bit. Good play by McCulloch again. Looks quite composed there at centre back. Likes to get the ball down and pick a pass out. There he goes again, looking for Lingard. Again, Lingard putting the keeper under pressure, David, and although they got lucky, miss hit that pass and got lucky a little bit. Yeah, not the best of clearances from Shane Lewis, and that's Charlie. a tackle, isn't it? Tyler Blackett. Ball's going in that next field, I think. Well, the subs and the coaching staff on the United bench did well to get out of the way then, because that was whistling right past them. Cameron Gale now at centre half. Former Crew Academy player, born in Birmingham though. And have come back home to play for West Brom. With Barino, who's offside. <laughs> Liam Jacob will take this free kick and gives it nice and short to McGinty. Now Pogba, McCulloch has made himself available, there he is. He looks towards Kofi, watched by Gale, giving the ball straight to Lawrence though, who promptly gives it back. And then Kofi still on his heels from the first pass there. Very entertaining first half, a slightly disjointed start to this second period. Five minutes gone. O'Sullivan takes on Blackett. McGinty came across and won the throw in. Good covering from the youngster from Maidstone. Yeah, two centre backs have been solid today. That's coming our way. Oh, no, most will get there one day. He'll be able to <laughs> chest and volley it back. I probably could have dived and headed that one, but not advisable off scaffolding this height. Van Velzen, searching cross from him. Lawrence did well to read the bounce. Back with Michael Keane. 
Lingard. Van Velzen again. Take two with the cross. Whipped in as well towards Keane. He'd stepped forward and kept his run going. Yeah, decent ball in. It's got to be defended. Pogba got a bit of a wallop there from Roof. Not sure how much intent there was there, but certainly an arm in the face of the Frenchman. Yeah, I knew what he was doing. Stood his ground really and just let him run into his. Running into his arm, running into his elbow. Sensible referee and he's it's had a good game, the ref. Not been, uh, not been a lot of incidents to deal with, but he's dealt with them quite well. Well, I think you know where the West Brom coaching staff want the wall to go. Level with the post. Lingard looking for options in the middle, just over the head of Pogba. Just a light, slightest to touch on that, David, could score. Good pacing it again, good delivery, just maybe just in a little bit too early there, Pogba. Slightly odd as well. There was only actually one person to really pick out in the middle there with that free kick. Everybody else was hanging back towards the edge of the box. Someone at the back stick might well have had a tap in. Three goals for Paul Pogba in four appearances before today for the under-18s this term. Still plenty of time for him to add to that. Oops. Kofi. Nice control. Oh, That's a handball, ball, isn't it? Linesman's given it. Penalty. Yeah, penalty. Lawrence did well getting up and towing the ball over his uh, defender. Pogba did the same. Uh, they can't have any argument. We can see that from here, David. Tam balled it, unfortunately. They feel a little bit aggrieved about that. Second penalty of the day, but as you say, the linesman spotted it, flag up, and the, the ref's uh, got on his word. Well, no booking or anything for Conley. The referee didn't see that that was needed. But we do have a different penalty taker. And John Kofi, who's already got one for himself. Lingard took the first penalty. Kofi will take the second. And does exactly the same. Sticks same in corner. the back of the net. Same corner, loads of power. Keeper no chance again. Coolness from Kofi. And daylight for United. 3-1 they lead. What are you going to do now? So Kofi scores in the 45th and the 54th. And United lead by three goals to one. And that will make everybody in red feel a little bit better. I was just going to say, it's, they, feel, uh, they feel disappointed in conceding that West Brom, but it was a goal scorer. He's, getting a goal, he's going to have a shot out of it, David, if he nicks it past him and he stops it with his hand. Here's Pogba. Yeah, they seem a wee bit charged up now. They've just got to just calm down a little, little bit. West Brom, make sure they don't give the ref uh, another decision to make. They've got to keep their heads at the back as well, mm -hmm. haven't they? Because 3-1 is one thing. 4-1 then looks like a bit of a rout. John Kofi now on a hat-trick. And it's the first time he's scored more than one in a game this season. Van Velzen, nice feet. Good ball as well. Very nearly four, fell rather to Lingard. Pogba. Get some help from McGinty. That's all they do, keep it moving, make them run. Blackett. Running at Tunnicliffe. Tyler Blackett. Chance for another one here, and the goalkeeper got in the way. Done well, full back. This time he took the option that Coffey should have took in the first half, just hits it goal bound along the box. Somebody might get it. Not the first United number three to look dangerous in the opposition penalty area. Put it somewhere in the goals, David, and a striker might just stick it in for you, or even a defender. But he's got good pace there, Blackett. He gets, once he's in his stride, he's very hard to stop. 
Oh, very nearly a glorious ball from McGinty over the top there for Van Velsen. It's a little bit too much on it. Seems a little bit wetter up there, but I think once it hits the ground, it's gone. Well, that is always the part of the pitch yeah. that, that floods slightly mm. if you have a lot of rain. So, Conley, the unfortunate man with the handball there. Oh, like the coach has been shouting on, nothing you can do about it now, it's over, just give it. We've got to dig in now and get on with the game. He'll be cursing his luck. He sounded like he was unfortunate to pick up two yellows against Manchester City earlier this season. And he will certainly be aggrieved at that decision to give United a penalty. Wake up! Wake up! So West Brom and their staff have a bit of rebuilding to do in this second period. Tannicliffe, Roof, very nearly onto it, Hendry got there first though, it's towards Lingard, Manessio, Greer through to Roof, good challenge by Hendry again, Greer picks it up, offside given, no goal, tidy finish though, good piece of play. substitute Jez Mulholland, was a good finish, kept it down, doing exactly right, hitting it across the keeper towards the far post. But again, though, as that play's building up and it's working its way across on David, he's got to be looking at that linesman. He's staring at him, so you just got to just make sure you're on side. Thankfully for us, though, he's just straight there and uh, it's still 3 1. Too much on that for Van Velsen. United substitutes, incidentally, are going through a vigorous warm-up behind us here in the gantry. They include today Chani Kangamene and Alberto Masacci, both have missed a lot of football in the last few weeks, haven't played for five and six weeks respectively. Joe Cole, the goalkeeper, Luke Giverin, the fullback, and Tom Thorpe, the other substitutes, warming up with Chani there. Great header. Oh, oh and he's given a foul. Paul Pogba was towering. There's only one winner there for that one. <laughs> well, <laughs> knee, a knee in the back of the head, David, probably constitutes a free kick, maybe. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone get their knees high. quite that high. <laughs> <laughs> Barino beaten to it by Hendry, but there was a foul in there, says the ref. He's allowed the advantage and then brought it back again. Again, good referee and just waiting to see if the play develops in their favour. It was Roof who was brought down there. So, free kick for West Brom. Van Velsen comes back to help out, so everyone in red behind the ball. It's going to be... Seda Verino again with his free kick, right footed, looking to test Liam Jacob like he did last time. The goalkeeper was equal to it though, palming it onto the bar. What's he got up his sleeves this time? Almost the same again. And the goalkeeper at the second attempt got it out for a corner. And Paul McGuinness just making the point that he's given those as fouls before on Jacob. That looks a free kick all the way there really. Right on top of him. He's elb. There's no way that that's not face. a free kick, is there? Yeah. Let's hope that's not costly. Six West Brom players in the box. Roof with a corner. Greer comes short for it. He fooled everybody with that one. Barino into orbit. Still rising. Out of bounds, yeah. Just a little bit pissy is coming back to him. Just bobbling, you can see it just going along the ground there. Would have been harsh if uh, that had ended up in the back of the net, David, because uh, it was a free kick in United's favour. Foul think, on the goalkeeper. I think that's ended up in the bunker. <laughs> uh, just behind the United goal in the end. Bounced once and then into it. So someone's got some digging to do. Look to push. Velsen 
beat O'Sullivan to it there. Here he is again. Free kick. That's a foul, surely. Yeah. <laughs> Frustration for Connolly. The Wolves, uh, rather West Brom, were guilty of losing concentration in a game earlier on this, this season. Went 1-0 up with eight minutes to go against Newcastle and couldn't hold on. They ended up drawing 1-1. In this game, they have to turn things around in the other direction. Challenge. McGinty again in strongly. Van Velsen and Lingard working well on this left-hand side. Still Lingard. Pogba's challenge. Held roof up. West Brom throwing. Oops, that was a free kick as well. Foul on Goldsmith. Just going through a spell of free kicks at the moment. He's the other player that Brian Flynn will be looking at today. Wales under 17 international winger. Gale up to O'Sullivan. Pogba strong, composed. Ball through well to done. Kofi. Nice touch. Lawrence is with him here. Lingard in the middle, Kofi up the line. Bit early to keep it in the corner. <laughs> well, I was just thinking to myself, once he's led the ball off to Lawrence David, he's better running into the box then. Because we don't really want him with the ball out there, we want him with the ball in the box eventually. Defender's quite happy if you run the ball in the corner. Keen throw, Lingard spins, goal kick. Well, it's nice to see Michele Fournazier watching today. It's the first time he's not played for the under-18s this season. Game 12, he's played in the previous 11. Here's McCulloch in Fournazier's position. Lawrence. McGinty to Tyler Blackett. Looking a lot more comfortable on the ball after a good run in the side. Blackett, who's played the last five games, becoming a fixture at left back now in this under 18 setup. No foul given. Jez Mulholland out to Barino. McCulloch is with him. Did well to out Muslim. Hendry. Kofi's charging forward and he's got the legs here. Almost got there. Just give him sort of four or five yards away at the start of that race. O'Sullivan. Back to Greer. The captain ever since O'Neill went off injured. McGinty up to Lingard. Challenged by Connolly. Took his time, didn't dive in. Oh. Roof perhaps didn't take enough time. Just a little bit hurried there, a little chance for West Brom. Three against four. Well, United haven't made a change yet, but they're about to. Luke Giverin is about to come on. 17-year-old from Birkenhead. Here's Van Velzen. Oops, just bobbled, had it bobbled yeah. again, didn't it, there? Just bobbled as he's hit that. Here comes the change. And it looks like Tom Lawrence is the player to be replaced. Get them, get them. 
Lawrence, who had that shot in the first half, well saved in the end by Shane Lewis. He comes off, Giverin goes on, and we've seen him often play at left back, but he's going to go to the right-hand side of midfield, and Chania Kangamene is going to come on now as well. So Kangamene, who has been out injured for the last five weeks, comes on to replace Luke Hendry. And Chani will play in the centre of midfield alongside Paul Pogba. Showing his versatility, we've seen him as a winger in the reserves, a fullback in the academy, and now in the centre of midfield. Pogba showing who's boss and then slipping. Mulholland to Gale. O'Sullivan. Great pass. Beautiful fighting ball, wasn't it, to yeah. find him. Pogba well done. Super feet. And he has Kofi well, like darting through the middle. Good goalkeeper goal just about got there. Good goalkeeping as well, quick off his line. Sometimes at certain levels you see players really take the game by the scruff of the neck and United's number six has done that has all the ability to do it as well it's a foul yeah, can make it look easy sometimes he left his opponent in the seat of his pants here and drills a 40 yard pass he's, he looks very comfortable big big lad as well big presence Plenty of muscle and the mind to go with it as well. He's been out for a little spell. But we look forward to more of Paul Pogba in the academy and in the reserves, no doubt. Connolly flicked on by O'Sullivan. Head is cleared by Blackett. All in is dealt with by McGinty. Now it's Greer. Shout comes from Jacob. And the safe hands do as well. Midway through the second half. It's not been as entertaining as the first, but the third goal for United has eased the pressure somewhat. Yeah, and just not to not to stuffing out of West Brom a little bit. Just had a little bit of a lull for 10 minutes where the, neither the keepers had too much to deal with. Changes get made and players start getting a little bit tired. Kofi brings it down, feeds it to Lingard. Now, Van Velsen. Options in the centre, he was looking for Lingard. Yeah, good defender at that near post by Conley again. Correct option, get it in low, get it in behind the defenders, but Conley, well positioned. Van Velsen, back to Lingard. Into Giverin. Oh, he's looking for Kofi, and it found McGinty. Just couldn't get the leg wrapped around the ball. And West Brom just caught sleeping there, short corner. As you say, McGinty just couldn't get his leg over the ball to keep it down. Hard technique to do. West Brom are waiting to make the change. Ethan Mannion is hovering in the technical area. McCulloch beats Roof to the ball. Good defender again. Take no chances. Don't want to give it back to the keeper. Just make sure you clear it. It looks like it's going to be David Goldsmith, the Welsh winger, who is coming off. So, in fact, Brian Flynn can leave early if he wants to. <laughs> These two Welsh players have now come off. And on comes Ethan Mannion, Republic of Ireland Youth International, 18-year-old from Galway. And he scored three goals this season. He is one of the higher scorers in this West Brom squad. 
straight swap. One left midfielder for another. Again, Lingard's done very well there, pressing them, making them uh, make sure they do everything properly because if they, if they don't, he's going to nick the ball off them. Well played, Luke Giverin. Now it's Lingard. Well done. Now Blackett, he's got room to run into. He's got a Kangamene through the middle too. Sharp challenge on him. Lingard wins it back. Ginty's header will find Barina and now Mannion up the line for a striker, but that's too much for him well, to do. It's not going to go out, David. He might have chased it down. He gave up and then decided to go. He looked at him as if to say, I've played 65 minutes. What that's are you doing giving me a pass like that? That's you just come on. Yeah, but <laughs> sometimes you've got to just get on with what's given to you and make the best of it. Nice pass. Kofi on the end of it. Offside. Yeah, he's got forward well, Blackett, and he can also use the ball well from left back there. Great, great ball. Well, United have done the business against West Brom here in the past. They've won the last four at Carrington, winning by 4-1, 7-0, 4-2, and then 2-1 last season. 7-0, yeah. It's been a couple of 7-0s against West Welbeck. Brom, in fact. I think Welbeck smashed a few in. Yeah, Welbeck got four. Two for a Jose, one for Makeda three years ago. Five years ago, it was 7-0 as well. Two for Fagan, two for Houston, two for Campbell, and one for Danny Rose. So you wouldn't bet against it going 4-1 if history has anything to do with it. Although West Brom has put up considerable fight here today. Nice header on from Barino. Now it's Mannion. Greer in the middle. Back to Mannion. Yeah, good defending by Keane. He made him over hit that. He's just stayed on his feet. He's going to get a block on it. Well, it'd be interesting if they, could, if they got a goal back, David. It'd be an interesting last 10, 15 minutes. But, um, it would, wouldn't it? Usually subs, it uh, looks if they've just had a little bit of a G up and they just feel as if they've got over feeling sorry for themselves and try to have a go at it now. Paul McGuinness just uh, weighing up his options in terms of his final substitution. He's got Alberto Masacci and Tom Thorpe, the outfield players. Joe Cole is the substitute goalkeeper. Jacob with considerable force behind that one. Free kick for the foul on Greer by McCulloch. O'Sullivan. Back to Tunnicliffe. Greer makes the run. Helped out by Manny O'Sullivan. Kangamani has time. Now go. 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 Keep running. Pogba. Red shirt starting forward. West Brom have got back quickly as well. Van Velsen away from Greer. Gives it to a Kangamani. A little bit too close to each other there. Mm. Van, Van Velsen was wanting it back right away, David. He was in his stride. Just looking down at the United dugout, I think the final change for the Reds will be Alberto Masacci coming on. He's just taken his jumper off. He's got the 15 on his back. There are 15 minutes to go. Still United lead by three goals to one. Two penalties, one each from Lingard and Kofi. And Kofi's got another one as well from the edge of the box in the first half. Forward from Gale. Nice touch from Barino. Rolled over the foot of a Kangamani for a free kick. 
like he's done it over in his ankle or seems in a bit of agony. Let's have a look at it here. Oh, didn't seem to be too much. Oh, in didn't that. seem to be too much contact at all. He looks tired. Looks like he needs to perhaps catch a breath. <laughs> And uh, Kangamani is having to make a substitution of his own. The chain he was wearing is coming off. So United coach John Cook has a new early Christmas present. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody just seems to have put the lights out. I don't know where that no, sun's gone. It has just uh, suddenly gone a bit dark, hasn't it? A bit cooler now. Masachi waits for his chance to come on. Here's Cameron Gale. Mannion on the turn. The block. Gale, change of pace to go away from Kofi. Towards the back stick, good ball at Conley still forward. Uh, good defender as well by Given. Stayed on his feet, kept his eye on the ball. 